Thanks for opening up the place this morning. There we go. We're <laughs> live, baby. <laughs> are you uh, are you as excited for this weekend as as everybody else? How does it how does it work with you? I mean, I'm curious it, about that too. Yeah, actually. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely not another weekend in the books. I mean, Cat Grizz, right? Is is a whole another whole another ball game, literally. But I, I go up this morning and talk to the team, which is great. Just be in front of the squad and just get my layout and my perspective. This is how you got to think about this. I mean, Bobby Houck is Bobby Houck. He's going to be, they're going to celebrate like a bunch of cheerleaders out there. And <laughs> you, and then, you know, Robbie Houck's going to be doing the deal. And, the, you know, and they're going to try and make it a bigger deal when it's a little play and they're going to make it a big deal. And I was like, <laughs> you guys are a bunch of animals. Like, you, you don't need all the cheerleading and everything. Like, just get away from that. And the, the sooner you can put that shit aside, the sooner you can just play ball and put your nose to the grindstone and just bury these guys. I think the hardest thing is that the reality is it's 18 to 22 year old kids yeah. and they got a, they got game day here. Kirk Herb Street's going to be here and McAfee and, and man, to just keep your, you got to, it, I would think it's a weird balance to enjoy all that because so emotion can exhaust you. Yeah. It sucks the energy out of you. So you don't yeah. have like a, a hype tape that you listen to like, like, you know, Rocky Four music or, you know, Eye of the Tiger. Okay, you go on. funny. Might not be funny to you. <laughs> Maybe not funny, ha ha. But I share a locker room with the bullfighters. We're kind of a team, even though I'm chicken and whatever. And they're younger than me. They're a generation younger than me. These are 28 year old guys. And I'm not. They're big this year, this last season. It was ACDC. Yeah, you know, You're Highway to Hell and all that. And I said, Okay, guys, I got to tell you something. I've been listening to ACDC since junior high basketball <laughs> trips on the bus. I cannot yeah. listen to ACDC. I'm with you on that. I got a rule at my gym. No queen. We can't play queen. No, we, can't. I don't want to hear we will rock you one more time. No. No. Heard Thank queen you. enough. Thank you. Like, don't play it at my gym. Don't play it around me. Like, I can't do it. So I'm with you're you just, on ACDC. That's because you're like, afraid to be that another one that bites the dust that's, that's okay. we, we went wow. there see what I we went there right, right. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah i got it okay maybe i'm off topic here probably was your relationship with belichick good or is there a relationship you have as a player with that guy I don't think there is for a lot of people. I had a great relationship with Bill. Really? I mean, we, he, he understood me from the get-go and I understood exactly who he was. Military-minded. If you're willing to get in there and put your nose to the grindstone and work for that man, you got a job. And I knew that, I say this story several times, but I knew I had Bill by the balls one of my first Love weeks it. coming into the, into the, just coming into the stadium. I'm one of the first people that come in I got my little my little backpack on. I had jean shorts. I mean, so high. On, I no mean, way, really. Higher than the ones were the you wore. Were the that. pockets hanging out the jean bottom? Shorts? Oh yeah, jean shorts just straight from mm. straight off the farm, that's, right? And that's my a, cut off. Tea. That's a flex. I, I didn't even they? care. I mean, nowadays that's like a trend. Right? It was not yeah. a trend. It was not cool then. I mean, yeah. they're just my Wrangler jean shorts. But I walked by Bill and. Hey coach, and just through the, I mean, it's the longest hallway you've ever seen. And that's, you gotta walk right by Bill's office going into that stadium every morning. Cause he likes to see who's there and who's there on time and who's there first. And hey Bill, and we're walking like this. And he just stops, looks at me. And I was like, and I realized it's the jean shorts, it's the whole look. I mean, I look like yeah. shit. Yeah. You know, but I'm here <laughs> to work. Ridiculous. And then I, I just walk by him and he stops and I turn around a little bit and he just stops mid stride in the hallway stopped and looked and just shook his head with a grin. I was like, that man right there likes me. <laughs> yes. and he knows that I'm here to work and I don't care about wearing Gucci and Prada shoes and everything. Like I'm here to work and earn a job. That's, awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. Who are you picking? <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay. No. We're in Bozeman. Right. It's Calgary's week. I sometimes watch my state that I adore and have never lived anywhere else. This guest picker, celebrity guest picker thing's been huge in Montana. And people are floating out names. Well, game day's in Bozeman, but we need somebody that's neutral. Never in the history of game day has the celebrity guest picker picked the visiting team. Right. Listen, that's the point. You right. don't do it. Right. That's the yeah, point. Right. So we're, hey, what about, what about Dave Dickinson? 
ah, Dave Dickinson's one, one of the greatest football players in the history of Montana. He's, no, we're in Bozeman. Right. I hope Dave's here. If not, he's coaching. Yeah. But come on, guys. Luckily for Bozeman, Montana, UCLA lost and Oregon lost. Yep. And it made those two games just a little less important. And they said, you know what? Let's do something fun. And Dave probably saw it a little bit, but I've seen it really a lot in about the last four or five years. Where are you from? Montana. No way. Wherever I am in this country, no way. You're from Montana. I was walking the two blocks from my hotel to Madison Square Garden last year in the snow for the PBR. Big dude, as New York as you can get. Comes up, hey Cowboys, I'm going to PBR tonight. You know why? I said, mm, uh, you're a fan? No, nope, I watch Yellowstone. Walked away. That was it. That's it. That was End it. The story. <laughs> Being from Montana right now is cool. It's intriguing. It's adventurous. It's yeah. And people want to be here, so why not? Yeah. Come check us out. Yeah, but you know when people are like, "Where's Yellowstone film?" Like Missoula. Missoula. <laughs> of course, it's in Missoula. Yeah. Go check that out. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. All right. All right. Yeah. Like, yeah. I welcome everybody. But go check that place out. It's cool. Yeah. Really cool. Really. It's really cool. <laughs> Man, could I, I wish I could live in Missoula. So if you are the celebrity picker, I mean, we know who you're picking. Yeah. But I mean, it's kind of a big deal for you. I love football. I yeah. love football. And I watch game day. On the road in the fall, we tour in the fall in a hotel room. I sit there for three hours really? and drink coffee and watch college game day. And so... All the things I've done, all the places I've performed, if I could be on college game day, which I'm not counting on, believe me, no. it would be the highlight of my career. It would be, I have my spiel, I have my pick deal down. I, I, I got down. it, I got it down, man. I love so, it, Yeah, I love it. I know you guys are both Bobcat guys. <clears throat> you know, I have the, the good fortune to be able to cover both teams and, and people always ask me. Is that me, a good fortune? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> I, yeah, you're People right. ask me all the time, who, who, are you a bobcat, you a cat, you a grizz? And I'm like, I'm honestly neither. Be, I, I love both teams because... He's part of the problem. <clears throat> See, and this, what we oh, this is what okay. we Well, do. this is where this ends. Yeah. Okay. Well, See you guys later. The yeah. <laughs> this, no, but, <laughs> this is divided. This state's divided. <laughs> and is. I'm not yes, here. And, and, I, and I get that. Okay. And, but here's, here's my thing is, is it's bigger than that because... Because I cover all these kids in high school mm -hmm. that then go play for these teams. Yeah. And you cover, I've covered kids, J.J. Dolan, whose dad is a big Grizz guy, is now committed to the Cats. Yeah, right. And I was talking to them on the sidelines a few weeks ago here at Bobcat Stadium, and his dad's like, man, this is hard. Now that, But yeah. you know what? He wants what's best for his kid. Cool. And if it works out yeah. best for his kid, like, what is, what's important? It's important that, that, that families and kids, you know, these kids that get to go play, that's who I'm rooting for. Yeah. That's, that's yeah, who I want to see succeed. So, and, and, you know, yeah. t for, for Saturday, I just want a good game. I'm yep. with you on that. I hey, love hey there's a kid football. playing for the Grizzlies. I don't know him personally. Uh, Dietrich kid, number 47, Haver, Montana. I taught his mom. So I cheer <laughs> yeah. for the kid. Right. Wow. You know? I, yeah, you're that old. I'm that old. Oh, man. Opposing team or not, hostile crowd or not, you're still playing in front of the same crowd. There's still an energy you can absorb. When I get to come to a Bobcat game and I have had the opportunity to have connections where I get to stand on the sideline once in a while and I look around, we could lose by 30. What an opportunity. How the hell did I get here? Yeah. And to me, it's fun and it's supposed to be fun. And there's a lot of people can take the fun out of it pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah. This is sport. Right. This is, you know, yeah. you got paid to do it. I get paid to do what I do which yeah. a lot of people think is just showing up and being goofy, but there's a lot of ins and outs, daily things that we got to do. Yeah. But in the long run, I ain't curing cancer. He right. wasn't curing cancer. We're playing a game. Yeah. We're entertaining people. It's supposed to be fun. One of the things game day coming to Bozeman has is our tailgate set up open field for them with the view of the bridgers. I've been tense and puckered up all week because <laughs> I got a message. Can we get your number to give because game day people want to call you? And I haven't got a call. Yeah. Well, yeah. Damn it, Dane. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Just be patient. If I looked like Dane, <laughs> if, I did, okay. had, if I accomplished what I've accomplished, but looked like Dane Fletcher, done. Oh, you would, no, they would have called, no, no. called you last week and you would have been the first to know they were even coming here. 
Yeah. Even yeah. if you just had a beard like Brandon's. Who, well, let's. I, I mean, mean you're, look at yours. Yours is tr mine's gray now, and oh, I'm getting. Yeah. There. The last thing I wanted to ask you was is how special this game was to play in. I mean, this is this is the one. You come back here and you you take this one home. You have a whole year. You have a whole lifetime if you're a senior to celebrate it, and you just can't take that back. The cats come in now. They have such a strong team. They they're just a bunch of dogs. They've been in they've been in the fight in a lot of games. The Grizz are almost the opposite. They 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 get up early, and if they don't get up early, they get down quick, and and they lose easy if they don't get up early. And so if we can they can play that shuffle along those lines and, and we, we're ready for a dog fight and ready each play and every play, that'll be a good one. Yeah. It doesn't get any better than this game. Yeah. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> well, hey. yeah. thanks, for, uh, thanks for doing this. So good. Appreciate Cheers. it. Cheers. So good. Good luck this thanks weekend. Hope we get your call.